boys and girls, this is Miss Coker. Today, we are going to review some things that you probably learned early on when you started working with fractions. Before we do that, let's take a look at a square. Look at this square and think about what fraction of the square is pink. We'll talk about this square a little bit more after our video. Now sit back, put your feet up, and enjoy the show. Welcome, boys and girls. Today is a very special day. Today, I just received my online certificate for my online degree to be a math magician. My first trick is making words appear out of nowhere. Let's see if I can do it right now. I have my handy dandy math magician's remote. Oh, look at that. It's a math word. Denominator. Do you know what this word means? It's the bottom number in a fraction. It means the total number of parts that are in the whole. For example, if we broke a sandwich into halves, that denominator would be two, as in there are two parts needed to make that whole. Let's try this again. This word is numerator. Numerator is the top number in a fraction. If I went back to that fraction one half, this is the number of parts that we have, we're looking at, we're considering. Let's try this once more and see if I can get one more word to appear. Oh, I hope it's another math word. <gasps> Look at that, it's another math word. This time, this word is fraction. Fractions, that means fair shares, equal shares, equal parts, and that is what we're talking about today. The only other trick that I have been allowed to do since receiving my online degree is a trick called rearrange or change. And today, for the first time, I'm going to attempt it right now, right here. Before I do that trick, I'd like to tell you a little bit about it. I want to show you first what is supposed to happen. Now, the goal of this trick is to help me more easily see fractions. For example, my teacher might say to me, what fraction of this shape is covered in green? Well, right now, I don't know, I have no idea. So the trick is supposed to either rearrange the shape to make it easier to see. So for example, it might rearrange the shape like this to make it easier to see. And then I could just say, oh, well, let's see how many times I can cover that hexagon. Oh, well, that's one third. Or it might actually change the shape, making it easier for me to see that fraction. I am now attempting my trick, rearrange or change. The reason this trick is so important when it comes to fractions is because if your teacher gives you a question like this, what fraction of the hexagon is blue? You can't just look at this and immediately say, oh, that's one half of the shape. Because these parts aren't equal. We have to change or rearrange the shape so it's more obvious what fraction of the whole shape is blue. I have my math magician's remote. Let's see if I can rearrange or change this shape so it's easier to see. Well, look at that, boys and girls. I bet your minds are blown. So what I ended up doing was I changed the shape or I broke it into equal parts. Now I can easily see that, oh, one third or one of the three parts is blue. Now, I would like to attempt an even bigger trick to blow your mind. This time, I would like to see if I could use my math magical remote to rearrange the shape instead of change it. So the question here says, what fraction of the hexagon is green? I don't know, it's too hard to look at like this. Let's see if we can rearrange it. Well, look at that, it's amazing. We have moved all of the green to one side and all of the yellow to the other side. So now we can easily see that one, we can easily see that that's one half of the shape that's green. We could also call that one, two, three, four, five, six. We can also say that each of these is a six. This is one six, this is one six, this is one six. That's three six. Boys and girls, 
I have one more question. This one's a little bit trickier, a little bit different, and I don't know if my magic will work on it, but we will see. I wanted to see if I can use rearrange or change to determine what fraction belongs right here where there's the star. See if my math magical remote can help us rearrange or change. Oh, look at that. It changed our number line to make it easier to look at. Without changing the value of the star, we just got it to be into equal parts or equal lengths. Here's one, two, three, four. We now have four equal lengths between zero and one. This right here would be considered four fourths, which is equal to one whole. So this part right here would be one, two, three. This will be a distance of three fourths. You know, I just realized something. Rearrange and change isn't magic. It's just math. You, too, can use math to make fair shares whenever you are faced with a problem like this. Boys and girls, remember that square that we saw at the beginning of the video? If you had any difficulty figuring out what fraction of the square was pink, try thinking about how you could change or rearrange this square to make it easier. And now for today's challenge. These are some actual EOG problems that third graders just like you solved a few years ago. Try solving each problem. Remember, change or rearrange the image to make fair shares so it is easier to solve. Have a good day, boys and girls.